Hello, I'm Bob Allison, WB1 GCM, here at ARL Headquarters. Let's take a look at that MFJ ultrasonic dish, the MFJ5008. Here it is. Well, it's not tremendously big, nor is it heavy. We have a, a base stand here. You could set it down on a table. And this hole here is used for siding, along with the hole on the other side. Let's turn it around. And we have here this box. The microphone picks up the sound amplified by this parabolic dish and the ultrasonic sound is converted with this box to audible sound that you can hear in a set of headphones. The headphone jack plugs in right here. There's an LED power light and this is the volume control for your headphones. Here's a closer look at the sight hole. So I look through this hole right here and squint with one eye and then what I'm going to do is look through the other hole and that's going to be my window. Uh, that the uh, dish will amplify the ultrasonic sound. And so you aim at individual pieces of hardware on a pole or maybe an electric fence, and by looking through that hole you can get to a very, very close proximity of where the troublesome arcing source is. Now I've used this metal pole to simulate a utility pole. And on top of this utility pole I have an arcing source, which really is a Model T spark coil. If you're going to be investigating utility poles with the MFJ5005, make sure you have the proper safety equipment. Make sure you have a hard hat on and a safety vest. You will be stepping into the road from time to time and you want to be careful, be mindful of traffic and pedestrians. Now normally we use headphones with the MFJ5005, but for the purposes of this video, we're going to use this homemade homebrew amplifier made in the ARO laboratory. All I have to do is aim now. And be sure to never, ever bang on a utility pole with a hammer or sledgehammer. That's dangerous and you could lose your life. I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM here at ARL Headquarters.